This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. In this demonstration, we will show you how to edit existing data. This could be to make corrections after double data entry comparisons, or it could be to complete a partially saved questionnaire. We are again working with the baseline survey data. There are six cases in our data set, and one is a partially saved case, as indicated by the red cross. We will complete this case now. We double click on the case, and click yes to go to the last position. If you have watched the previous demonstration, you may remember we had just entered the missing value code for bath shelter. We need to move on and enter the economic activities. We enter the three activities, then finish the case in the usual way by pressing control forward slash and saying yes to accept this case. The red cross will disappear from the list as the case is now complete. Unfortunately, there seems to be a problem here. CS Pro seems to remain in add mode, but does not go back to the first page with a blank form ready to enter the next case, as we would expect, but seems to be stuck partly on the case for Village Code 1, Household 2. Whatever we try to do at this point doesn't seem to work. We can discard case, but cannot then go into any other case. The only option here is to close down the application and restart it. We'll open the case that we're working on and move forward to the last page. Note you can use page down to move forward a page at a time just to confirm that the activities have been entered and saved correctly. Let's assume that household size in the case household 12 of village 1 is changing. So we click the appropriate case in the list, check that the right case is displayed. We click in household size and change the value. Uh, currently it's 5 and we discovered this should be 6. We must then move forward to the end of the questionnaire and accept the case. We double click that same questionnaire to view the data and confirm that it has changed correctly. Now let's assume we need to make a change in the activities. We open whatever case needs to be changed and we move down to page 3 and the activities roster. We find that the third activity, instead of 24, should actually be 23. We click in that appropriate space and we overtype the existing value. We use control forward slash to exit the roster and click on say click on yes to accept this case. We go back into the case and confirm that it has been updated. From time to time you find the identification has been entered wrongly. In your double data entry comparisons you would find cases in one file which are not in the other and vice versa. Open the case in the usual way. We find for this case that the household number should in fact be 13 and not 14. So we go into the item and we enter 13. Now CS Pro recognises that we've changed part of the identification and gives a warning message to that effect. Press F8 to clear the message. We go to the end of the questionnaire as before, use control forward slash and, and before asking if you want to accept this case, CF Pro repeats the warning message. We press F8 again and accept the case. 
Note that the case ID has now changed in the list. Summary. There are three points to note here. When you change a value, you must go through to the end of the questionnaire and accept the case before the change will be saved. If you change the identification, you will receive warning messages. And finally, after completing a partially saved case, you will probably need to close and restart the application.